Okay, guys. Um, uh, we're doing um. You're pushing me. <laughs> um, we're doing mommy's TS. Um, what's it called? TS. <laughs> why? Why doing PC? We're doing her PC. channel and if you're new here I'm Be Goodies also known as Becca so in today's video I have a special little treat for you guys I'm not sure if you can see behind me and if you've already been a subscriber you're kind of like what the heck what's what's going on in this area <laughs> but today I am going to be building my first PC shout out to Tony for sponsoring the entire thing. I had no idea this was gonna happen, <laughs> but it did and I'm super happy. So um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the things that I got and um, I'll show you guys what I have on my desk right now and we'll do a little before and after. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll make sure to link everything that I got in the description. If you guys are new here, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if uh, you wanna see more content and um, you know, some new streams on a PC. <laughs> Got the link. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is my new spot right now. Um, it's a little hard to see because it's kind of dark, but you kind of seen it earlier. I think my face kind of needs to be here. It's probably gonna go away. Ah, okay, it's not. So yeah, I have this shirt here just for display. Um, a Polaroid camera. I actually have lights on here that spell be goodies, but um, the batteries are out, so there's that got the monitor do have the ps4 over here my controllers the charging dock have my nintendo switch canon camera blue yeti mic my playstation headset right here i'm probably going to actually move the monitor in this area and the pc is probably going to be right here but this area is for like um editing vlogs which i need to do a channel update um yeah, laptop is usually here, makeup stuff, my mirror, cute little uh, decorations, um, some little turtles, I love turtles, and then we have this. Um, I do want shelves like on my walls because I don't like to have this here. It's basically all like my camera stuff, all these like cords and things that I need. And this is pretty much like a junk drawer. Uh, <laughs> Got some nail stuff, hair stuff, lotions, all that kind of stuff. So that's in there. Um, I did set up my LED lights underneath. And right now there's not really any cable management. Kind of not really because I have to get a bigger outlet, of course, for the PC. There's going to be a ton of stuff that I'm going to be plugging in. So I'm not kind of worried about that right now. Under here, just have uh, my nail swatches because if you guys don't know, I used to do nails. But I don't really do it now. Uh, I just kind of do it on myself. I think they're cute. I'll probably display that a little better next time. All right, so this is lights on. I have this cute little thing on my monitor. It's like a Hello Kitty little wrap because it's a black monitor and I don't like that. Uh, we got my chair here. This is gonna be upgraded to one that actually matches everything else. And then I have this tapestry right here, tapestry, whatever it's called. Um, I got it off of Amazon, I think. I might replace it with one that's a little more purple, but this is what I have for now. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is uh, all the crazy PC stuff that I have. And I got some pink fans, but I'll go into detail with all this in a second. And to match my setup, I dyed my hair purple just in the front. Um, I kind of tinted it in the back, but you will most likely only see it in the sun. Um, I'm hoping to do some like renovations and stuff in the background because I kind of, I don't know where I'm gonna place my camera yet. Um, I want to do some cute stuff over there, get her a new bed. But yeah, this is just a little update of that for those of you who have been subscribed and for those of you who are just nosy. So yeah, I'm going to try to set up a table in here. I'm going to try to build the PC as fast as I possibly can. I'm really confident about it, but people have been trying to like scare me into building one. But I think I got it. Other than the power supply and like where to uh, attach all of the cords and stuff. Um, I think I have a pretty good understanding of where everything else goes, so yeah, wish me luck, and uh, let's get on with the video. 
<laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we have the case from Dark Flash. It's a mint green color. It has this kind of design in the front, but it's actually mesh. So I had to get certain um, sizes of like the graphics card and everything to fit in here because it is smaller. And then we have the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Um, I think it got 16 gigabyte. Yeah. 16 gigabyte of RAM. We have my M.2. Um, one terabyte SSD. I got the Core i7. This is the ninth gen for my CPU. This is, um, I'll take it out like at the very end, but it's a pink keyboard. This is actually blue switches, so it's kind of loud, which I did not know, but it's cute, so I'm gonna have to work with that. Then I have a 700 watt power supply by Thermaltake. Um, this was like the most tedious thing to find on Amazon. It was sold out everywhere. And then here I got these three RGB pink fans by ID Cooling. I'll make sure, like I said, to link everything in the description. I also had to get this RGB controller because my motherboard is not RGB compatible. So with that being said, I had to get the MSI Pro VDH Plus. Uh, I don't know anything about it other than it um, is going to be compatible with my CPU. And the best part is my GPU. This is a GeForce RTX 2060 and it does have RGB on it that I can customize. So I'm super excited about that. And some extra pieces. Just got a purple LAN cable because I wanted to be cute. And then this is actually an adapter for the M.2 because again, the motherboard is not compatible. But you guys are just gonna see everything unboxed and um, kind of put together piece by piece. Ready? <laughs> All right, how does that promo himself? Shout out, ZR31. That's me, man. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to unbox this beautiful, beautiful case. Um, I was actually looking for a, like, pastel purple, but I couldn't find one anywhere. So I got mint green. Uh, there was a pink one, but... I just didn't want my whole setup to be pink because every like girl streamer that I've seen, they all have just straight up pink setups and I honestly, I don't even like pink that much. So yeah, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna hope you don't break this. So we're gonna take this bad boy out. Super scary. sure how well you guys can see that but it's mesh so more breathable it's not gonna overheat too crazy hopefully I'm not, I'm not really sure but um oh mesh on the top as well this was I think $60 on Amazon so there is different colors black white <laughs> let me look at it real quick it has this little pool tab and it's magnetic it's not like your traditional ones where you unscrew it, which is more stable, but um, I don't think I'll have issues with the little somebody touching it. At the top here, we have one USB 3.0 port and then two USB 2.0s, one for the mic, one for the headset, and then we have our power, and I have no idea what that is. And then now I'm going to unbox the motherboard and everything else, and I'm going to put it together on the table. Okay, so now we have the motherboard to unload. And um, super small too. This is for a mini ATX case as well. All right, so this is the motherboard here. Like I said, there's no RGB header. This is gonna be for the CPU. So CPU goes here, if you guys don't know. I'm gonna pop that out, the black thing comes off. 
The graphics card is going to be here. And then I'm going to have the M.2 SSD adapter here. This is for the power supply. And the rest will figure it out. But yeah, here it is. Close up. Not sure if you guys can uh, really see. This is the back. And then you have the side that goes on the side of the PC. So I'm gonna unbox the Core i7 9th Gen. Luckily I don't have to do any thermal paste on myself. Pretty sure it already has it on here. All right, here we have the fan. This is the fan. Nice, nice, nice. It hurts. Ow. Right here you have the CPU. Gonna pop this out like so. All right, open that up. And then we're just going to place the chip inside. You're gonna line it up. There's a little marker on the side. I'm sure you guys can see. I'm like super scared. <gasps> You're gonna line it up here. And that's it, you don't press it. That's what I heard, you don't press it. You let this do the pressing, okay? And press that. That's it for that. All right, <laughs> it's stable. <laughs> Hopefully everything's good with that uh, thermal paste. Okay, so battery died, but I did look on these things and um, there is arrows here showing that it's like secure. So I think we're done with that. All right, so now I'm gonna put in the 16 gigabyte RAM. This is going to go in these two ports here. So we're gonna pop them open. These ones ain't popping open, so I guess that's how they're supposed to be. Let me cut this real quick. And voila, here they are. So you're pretty much just supposed to line them up, pop them in. That's about it. Wait till it snaps in like so. And then close that back up. So those are done. Okay, so back to the case. I'm going to install this here in the back. This is just so the side of the motherboard doesn't look ugly and weird. So we're gonna pop that in right now. I'm pretty sure now I can put the motherboard in and start putting all the other stuff on it. So right now I do have it open because I was trying to see what other cords it comes with. But this is just for the USB on the top and um, all the other little stuff. So I'm gonna place that down. These are obviously to put in the motherboard. All right, so let me try to put this in the slots, which I think they're pretty aligned. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in. Alrighty guys, the motherboard is in. Now I have to figure out where all these cords go. Um, and I'm not exactly sure when to put the GPU in, but as for right now, I'm probably gonna open up the power supply and then I'm gonna set that up in the bottom real quick. Okay, so now we're gonna do the power supply. To be completely honest, I already opened this because um, there was a spill actually uh, on the box, which I'm sure you guys can see here. It smells really weird and I did not want to use it, but um, as you guys know with the pandemic going on, things are hard to find right now and I just figured, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it. This is not a fully modular uh, power supply, meaning that you cannot take these cords off. Maybe I'll swap this out for one that I can do that with. I know they're way more expensive. This was around $50 to $100, somewhere around there. I know it was definitely overpriced because it's so hard to find. That stopped me from running. Look, that made me slower. I got hit by a grenade and made me slower. But for the meantime, I'm gonna have to work with this and just try to hide it in the background. All right, it looks like it'll fit down there, right? This is where it's gonna go. The fan goes in the bottom. And then here we have the power supply, you know, the spot where you plug it in. 
I'm just gonna have to figure out how to make this stuff. Oh god, I don't even know where all these things go. You guys see this? It's like a million bajillion cords. I know I need this one for sure. Um, no idea what that is. I'm gonna have to look at the instructions for this. I'm super lost, but yeah, so I'm gonna put it on the side right here and then I'm gonna screw it in. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some time and try to make the back look pretty and then I'll record the stuff that I'm plugging in for those of you who wanna build a PC and don't know what you're doing. I also have no idea what I'm doing. So just know between the cuts, if I need to, I'm gonna be checking on YouTube to see where things go. So don't feel stupid. I feel stupid for you. <laughs> Hopefully I can help you guys out. All right, you guys, so just showing you right now, I did plug in, I believe this is the power supply, and then this plug right here. This has eight pins that can disconnect down the middle into four pins each. This is to power the CPU. So I'm going to be opening up my graphics card so you guys can see where some of the other cables are going to be connected. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to unbox the GPU, which I am super excited about. Sorry for like the different lighting and stuff. Um, I got kiddos, they're walking around, fuzzies walking around. It's just a mess right now. But once this is all set up, hopefully I could eventually get like a ring light. Would have worked wonders right now, but you know, gotta, gotta work with what you got. So we're gonna open this up. Again, this is a 2060. Um, my husband has a 2060 Super, which I know is super nice, and I also know that if you start going up uh, in the numbers, these things get incredibly expensive, so, uh, yeah, we're trying to avoid that. Here we have this nice foam covering it. Pretty, pretty freaking nice. And we got this MSI. Uh, let's see what's in here first before we take out the beauty. Okay, so it comes with, um, obviously instructions. This, <laughs> this is pretty cute. It's like a cartoon-like version, step-by-step, step, I'm thinking, of like how to put the, the, the PC together, maybe? It looks like it to me. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna read that afterwards. Here's the big baby. Dang, this bad boy's heavy. You guys see this? Oh my freaking gosh. Is this gonna fit? Dear Lord, I hope so. Trying not to touch the fans. Oh my gosh. So this is my GPU. So I know that the tops and the bottoms here are RGB and you can customize that. This is what goes into the motherboard right here. And right here you have the eight pin connector where the power supply, one of those thingies, will be plugged into this. Okay, so I was able to take off these, which was a freaking hassle. Here they are. Normally you can just unscrew them and they come off. But these I had to like bend repeatedly for them to come out. There was no other way. And I almost had to take off the freaking motherboard to do this, but luckily I just kept at it. <sighs> Hoping I didn't knock anything on the side, but I'm gonna put this massive thing in right now. And um, hopefully I don't mess up. Okay, there you go. Your boy is in. So I'm noticing at the bottom, it kind of doesn't look like the, uh, the SSD will fit. So I think I might uh, take this out and see how the SSD is looking first <laughs> and maybe put this on top afterwards. All right, so I have a dilemma. Um, the M.2 adapter doesn't fit in the freaking motherboard. It's like completely different. This top part right here, my motherboard, like this just, it's not there. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to order a regular SSD and wait for that again. For now, I'm just gonna put in the graphics card and then I guess work on this another day. But when you guys are seeing this, it'll all be in the same video. So for you guys, it's cool, right? 
But yeah, I'm gonna do whatever else I can with it right now. Pretty bummed, but I'll be back. All right, so I've been messing with it because I'm super impatient. But this is what we got going on right now. Um, I have to get a splitter for the fans because uh, there's no RGB header, like I said. But all this works right now. Um, I was just trying to see if it turns on, and it does. So just a little note, um, my RAM was not plugged in properly. Like, you have to snap it down so that the tops that you... Um, you pull back before putting them in like when you press it hard enough it'll close on its own so both of them did that and then that's when this came on so this is what comes up msi the temperature of the cpu and the motherboard um i know this is the area where i have to put windows or something like that but i'm gonna check out some youtube videos and then um try to get that on here really quickly just so you know I could kind of use it but not really because I don't have an SSD <laughs> so nothing's probably gonna be saved at all but um yeah I just wanted to mess with it hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna go to Best Buy um, I have to go to Kohl's and return all this they have like an Amazon drop-off center so this is the M.2 SSD the fan controller and then the um, PC PCIe PCLE I don't know what it is um, that adapter piece for the M.2 since my motherboard was not compatible. Okay, so the fans are on now. I did buy a little fan splitter so that um, I could at least power them on. The RGB controller comes Thursday so I can hopefully turn these things on. But today I got the Razer uh, Quartz gaming mouse super excited to open this and then i did unbox my keyboard that's super freaking cute i love the way they did like the lettering on it and then um ezekiel taught me how to uh change it <laughs> to do some different stuff which is pretty cool i mean i'm not gonna use these things but it's still nice to look at um, I just like it lit up so yeah we have that I need a mat of course and then I'm getting I think I don't know if I said it I'm getting a skin for this but gonna open this got windows working put the webcam up and uh, I'll show you guys everything that's on the PC yeah all right so I'm gonna open this up um, I was using another mouse that uh, came with Ezekiel's PC Z's PC, but it was a little too big for my hands, so hopefully this one is a little bit better. Okay, it's a little darker than expected, but it's okay. Let's see. So I guess it's wired. <laughs> hopefully this is for smaller monos. Here's the mouse. Looks super cute with the keyboard. Um, profile? I don't know what that is. So some random stuff I don't understand. <laughs> Resistance? No idea what that is. Okay. Let's do with the mouse. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna plug it in and see if this thing changes colors. Okay, so this size is definitely different than the one he had but it's super cute and I'm pretty sure there's probably like a software for me to like keep it a certain color but yep it's working and all I need next is just the freaking RGB splitter and this thing will be completely 100% finished but right now uh, I'm gonna put the key in for Windows so I can customize it a little better let me actually Put that in, you guys can see my wallpaper. And now I have all this stuff in the corner. Driver Easy, GeForce Experience, Streamlabs, Steam, Google, Battle.net, Discord, COD, and something for Logitech. Oh, it shows up right away, I didn't realize that. Well, I'm gonna customize this, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so it's been a couple of days since the last time I recorded. I just got the RGB controller in the mail right now, so I'm about to turn this around and hope to freaking God <laughs> that the fans light up. Here's the back. No cable management yet because there's just no point when I still have to work with stuff. But this was the fan um, extension thingy-mabob. So I had to get this because my motherboard only had one fan header, which is super weird. This fixed everything. Okay, so this is what the controller's in. You can see the controller right there. We can hope this works. So, yep, controller. And we have this here okay so from my understanding this is the SATA cable this is gonna go into one of the PSU um, connectors and then I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna be plugging the RGB splitter that I bought at Fry's we're gonna set this up and hope for the best I'm going to try to connect it into one that I've already used which is this one that I have the SSD connected to. I'm not sure if it, I can do that, but I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. All right, so they're all together. Looks like a huge freaking mess right now, but this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna turn the PC on. I'm gonna use this dang remote and let's hope there is light. Okay, power on. Press it up here. <gasps> oh my goodness. It freaking works. Oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot I have to take out this uh, film in the bottom. <gasps> I'm so happy I have goosebumps. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. I've been waiting like freaking, <laughs> freaking like, what, a week already for this freaking crap? Finding something that works. I kind of do want to add uh, either more fans or the cooling, liquid cooling on the top. Just because why not? It'll look freaking awesome. But here we have white. I might keep it like that not sure yet I still have to customize the RGB on the RAM and also here on the graphics card haven't even gotten to that stuff yet because I'm just like I want the fans on but let's see so I think they're at their brightest let's see if they go down in brightness okay got that working I don't know what this lock button is uh, we have it says auto which I'm sure starts off with like the rainbow and stuff, but I don't want that. I don't like that. <gasps> so many options, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna close up the back and then um, I actually kind of move stuff on my desk so it looks very different now, but I'll show you guys the before and after and that's freaking it, man. This video is done. <laughs>